Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you actually how Flexbox model work. So, in this Photoshop artboard, we can see there are content I have written right inside of the box, and that content is surrounded by green color, and that green color is our padding. So total size of this content is included with this padding and border. Above this padding we can see a border of red color which is 2 pixels. So this is the total size of this content. And above this border we can see a yellow or tomato yellow color of margin. So margin is uh, separated from our content. So I hope you actually got it that how actually that box works. So total box size is content, padding and border in together. And above that we have the margin. And bottom we I have a uh, created three rectangular so that you can easily understand. And we can see there are gap between all three boxes and that gap is our margin. Okay, so this gap is margin and this is content and above this content, content the border is surrounded by red color that, two, that is padding and in total this is a flex box, this is another flex box, this is a flex box. I hope you got it. Now let's go to our workflow and we already know that how we start working in your flow. First of all I will click on add element and take a section and inside the section I will use padding. Alter 60. So top and bottom has been padding by 60. So now I will go bottom and to background I will use a background color. Whatever now I will take in container. Okay, inside of this container now we are going to work and I am going to explain you how actually flexbox work. Now suppose I want to add a heading. So let's go to typography and add a an heading. Okay, if I make this container center, then our padding will be center. Or oh, it is a flex, it is a block element, so we can easily center it, whatever it's for. So, suppose I have used a heading, and now I will use a paragraph. So, if I click on control E, then shortcut, I can add an element. If I write paragraph, then paragraph is here. Okay, I change the paragraph color to white. <coughs> okay, so this heading and paragraph is our content. Okay, so right now I am going to add padding on our container. Okay. So this I, I have added a background color in our container and I will use some padding on it. Suppose 40 pixel all over. So we can see this is our content, then this is our padding. Okay. Then I am going to add a border. Suppose I want to use that white color border of 2 pixels and dot dot border. Well, so our content, then our padding and then our border. So this is in total our flex box. Now, how we can explain that margin? Okay, after that container Suppose uh, if I duplicate this container, I control D. So we can see that both container are merged in together. So how can I move both of them? 
to move them, we will use margin. Suppose in this container, if we go to spacing, and if I add 40 pixel of margin in bottom, then we can see from bottom this another container has been separated or went down. Okay, if we make it 60, then it will go more down. So this is how actually content, padding, border, margin work. Uh, in total, this is Flexbox model. I hope you easily understood the concept. So, if you really like this video, please subscribe my channel and it will inspire me to upload more videos. Thank you. Tata, goodbye.